catch this. <laughs> How long is he there for? Chapter 12. He's going to finish it and then she's going to be like, another, another <laughs> misery book. I put two bullets in my gun. One for you and one for me. Oh my God. No. Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name's Tom and behind the camera we have Sean. Sup. Today, guys, it's a Patreon voting episode, which is all of our films now. <laughs> if you didn't know, go and click over onto Patreon to get your chance to vote for the films that we watch on the channel. You guys have voted for Misery, the Stephen King adaption, adaptation. <laughs> um, I'm so excited for this film. We've watched a, quite a few uh, Stephen King films on the channel already, haven't we? We've watched Christine. Yep. Um, the Shining. The Shining. Doctor Sleep. Yeah. Um, Carrie. M mist. The, the mist. mist. Oh my God, the mist. <laughs> um, and the thing about Stephen King is like his ideas and concepts are so s kind of simple but so original at the same time. I don't know if you know much about this film, Sean, but I do know the concept about like the story do you I know? do you do as well yeah. so apparently it's about a guy who's a, a writer that gets kidnapped by his biggest fan and Sean <laughs> had a similar experience with a cinema ruler one time <laughs> so he can relate but um, this is a very famous one I don't know why I haven't seen it have you seen it? I I've seen it but when I was a kid oh, years okay, ago okay so aside from that I don't know what happens aside like I think he's just trying to survive <laughs> as he's kidnapped or something like that. But I mean, Stephen King's such an original, fantastic writer. I'm so eager to get into it. Who directs like this? Rob Rayner. Another Stephen King adaptation by Rob Rayner that we watched was Stand by Me. Oh, so he's shit. A, a, he's actually a great director. Yeah. I just really quickly want to look, tell you some of the other films he's directed as well because he is. Uh, He's a really good director. He did, um, let's have a look. Stand By Me. Uh, where else are we? Did Is he also an actor? Yeah. He did yeah. The Bucket List. He did um, Spinal Tap, which is meant to be a good one. A Few Good Men, which is that famous line, yeah. you can't handle the truth. Yeah. Um, Tom Cruise, when, when Harry Met Sally, The Princess Bride, which we've also oh, reacted nice. to on the channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so... He's got a good catalogue. He does. And I really thought Stand By Me was amazing, so I can't wait to see this film. But drop a little like and subscribe on the channel and go over to our Patreon if you want to see the full-length reaction to our misery watching. What else have we got on our, uh, uh, on our Patreon page at the moment? Um, if you didn't know, guys, we've got a new series called How To Hollywood where we go in-depth and dive into um, how films are made. Not just special effects, but editing... Uh, cinematography effects, cinematography, all of the classic things. But uh, it's, we're really enjoying that series at the moment, so go and check it out if you haven't already. As well as that, as well as that, we're currently watching season one of Barry over on Patreon as well. So go there to check out our full length reactions to Barry. Sorry, Bill Hader, great show. We love it. Without further ado, let's jump in to this reaction to Rob Rayner and Stephen King's Misery. Castle Rock Entertainment. There's just something about a lighthouse, like the setting, oh. the tone of Stephen King's stories. Yeah, I love the theory that they're all in like the same universe. <laughs> a lot of um, a lot of them, uh, the main protagonists in the Stephen King stories are writers as well. I like that. I mm. like that. It's almost his stamp. It's almost yeah, his, his signature. His love. <gasps> Oh, damn. Good thing the snow softens the blow. I don't think that's how it works, man. It's the saying. The snow softens the blow. I never meant for it to become my life. And if I hadn't gotten rid of it now, I'd have ended up writing it forever. Now I'm leaving for Colorado to try to finish the new book. Oh, flashback. You didn't think this well, was a flashback? Well, I, I didn't know what had happened. I didn't know what had happened. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he got out of the car and walked Took the you a while. Away. <laughs> it took you a while. So he's killing the main character in his series, series of books. Because he doesn't really... He's become a bit detached from it. Yeah. 
I'm your number one fan. <laughs> oh, oh my god, his face is so mashed up. Here, take these. How could you swallow them? Oh, he's going to give him a glass of wine. Do you not swallow tablets? <laughs> no, I take, I take suppositories. Like, is that something that goes up your ass? Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> that's by that's by choice as well. He can do the other thing. He just prefers it. Yeah. <laughs> you mustn't tire yourself. You've got to rest. She doesn't seem that bad, oh does she? God. No, she saved his life. He owes her his life. Your shoulder was pretty badly dislocated. I was a little stubborn, but I finally popped it back in. What I'm most proud of is the work I did on those legs. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have... Oh! Oh, my oh. Jesus. This is literally a nightmare situation already. What? This is a nightmare. Get me to a hospital. If my legs look like that, I don't care. I don't care. Get me to a hospital. In a way, I was following you. You were following me. Well, it wasn't any secret to me you were staying at the Silver Creek. Seeing as how I'm your number one fan and all. Oh, she... You're going to turn out she ran him off the road. Yeah, I was going to say. What would you do in this situation? Looks like he's getting better. Well, there's no reason to suspect anything at this stage. Everybody talks like that. They do not? Oh. What do you think I say when I go to the feed store in town? Oh, now, Wally, give me a bag of that effing pig feed and 10 pounds of that bitchly cow corn. Whoa. And in the bank, do I tell Mrs. Bollinger, oh, here's one big bastard of a check. Give me some of your Christing money. There, look there. See what you made me do? Now is the cause for concern. Now is... But he can't he move because of his legs are messed. Tom, if I was in that situation... I think I would force myself to run. You can't. He'd be like... It's oh, mind over matter, Tom. Snap. It's mind over matter. His legs would all like snap a his, bit. But his bones are moving. Might as well move them in the direction of, away from her. <laughs> oh, I knew it. There's literally didn't zero... Even didn't even care. acknowledge. She's willingly holding him prisoner now. Oh, God. Had it at the store, Paul. There was a whole batch of them there. And as soon as I saw it, I slammed my money down. I got the first copy. Oh, so she hasn't read this. Well, no. I get it, yeah. I thought, I thought this was the book he was writing, but no. And I told him who you were. So this is the book happened? where they kill her, right? Yeah, and she doesn't know yet. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, see, yeah, because she doesn't like the profanity swearing. No. It's not just great, it's perfect. He's like, get over it. You're weirdo. There's definitely people out there that obsess this much over individual things as well. Like, yeah, are you one of them? Hmm. Mm. 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 What's the ceiling that Dago painted? The Sistine Chapel. Yeah, that and Misery's Child. Those are the only two divine things ever in this world. Oh my god, she's literally insane. insane. <laughs> it reminds me of you, that. Why? That, that, what? that behaviour. <laughs> yeah, it is to be fair to someone else. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> that was when I first discovered misery. She made me so happy. She made me forget all my problems. Of course, I suppose you had a little something to do with that, too. Yeah, well... He, his only way out of this is to go along with it and pretend that he's, like, in love with her and... What, do you think she's... Oh, I guess she is kind of, like, in love with him. I'm, uh... Um... He's been pissing the, the whole time she's been talking to him. For fuck's sake, she has no boundaries. She... she died. She just slipped away. Slipped away?! Slip away! You did it! 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 You murdered my misery! Annie! Annie! 
Jesus Christ. You're just another lying old dirty birdie. And I don't think I'd better be around you for a while. That's intense. She's intense. It's a good performance, that. Yeah, brilliant performance. Nobody knows you're here. Just admitting it. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. Oh my god, she's just flat out admitting it. I mean, that car's all on the table. I would take my chances. I'd n knock her out. So, Tom, listen, hear me out. A mother can lift a car. Of her That's child. not true. This man can run away from this insane. Yeah, but person. it would probably be like take two steps and his legs would fold under him. Like <laughs> That's they're called knees. <laughs> oh. oh the expression of pain. Yeah. Absol oh, look absolute, at his feet. absolute agony, mate. Absolute agony. It's locked. I have no idea of how this is going to end. Either he escapes or he dies, right? There's got to be, that's got to be the only options. I asked God about you, and God said, I delivered him unto you so that you may show him the way. Show me the way. Yes. Do you know in the mist and in Carrie, there's there always there's a character there's in both there's a character that's religious that's like yeah very so Stephen think, King has definitely been influenced negatively um, in his childhood or somewhere by Christian yeah religion hasn't he in terms of, yeah. in terms of kind of he's uh, definitely got something against it hasn't he or like fanatics yeah at least ah uh, what's he doing now? hiding the tablets but aren't those painkillers. Yeah, but we don't know that, do we? He might, yeah. she might be drugging him. You're gonna write a new novel. Your greatest achievement ever. Misery's Return. Misery's Return? You could do this with like any, you could do it with like a musician, a modern mm -hmm. story, modern version with a musician, couldn't you? Or a TikTok dancer. <laughs> You're gonna do your new dance in my honor. <laughs> it's gonna be your masterpiece. What's going to do with the hairpin? It's not like he has handcuffs. Oh, pick up a lot. A lot. I'd, I'd like for you to be in on everything, Annie, not just the finished book, but how it's written. Thank you for thinking of me. She knows. She's not an idiot. Well, I'll get your stupid paper, but you just better start showing me a little more appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Oh! She's, you just don't know when she's going to flip. This is why he needs to be... He was trying to play along there, though, to be fair, wasn't he? And yeah, he was. Yeah. I thought it was good. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What did he say? I can't believe it worked. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate things like... You're in danger and you've just got a certain amount of time in order yeah, to do yeah, something. Yeah, and you know they're coming and back. The, yeah. I do lo I like, love it at the same time. Though, yeah. It's like the, the tension that's it's, killer, isn't it? it? It's it's like a... I don't know. It's a trope, but it's like... It's a fucking intense one. Put it the wrong way. Put it the wrong way around it. Uh -huh. She is definitely. She's a definitely going to notice. She's obviously going to notice. Oh my god, a shrine. A shrine. Imagine seeing that. A shrine to you in somebody else's house. Ugh. What is it? Oh, I get that. He wants to read it, maybe. Or poison her. There's no way. Oh, I've never been so fearful of like She's someone like this in back. my life. Good shot, but would she notice? 
Yeah, for sure, sure. No, it's not sure. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I love this camera. Oh my god! There's no way. There's no way he's gonna get back. Oh my god! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> quick! Oh my god! Quick! Fuck! The penguin. She's gonna notice the penguin. He doesn't even know. He put it back wrong. That's the kind you ask for. Paul. I want my clothes now. It'll only take a second. No! It just breaks my heart to see you like this. Oh my god. Crazy, crazy, crazy. She's gonna see crazy. the penguin. She's gonna see it now. She's gonna see it later. This film is exhausting. Yeah, it is. I feel like him. Yeah. In just, the bed. <laughs> just completely immobilised. I have faith in you, my darling. Catch this. <laughs> if anyone had found him, they would have taken him to an area hospital. No, they wouldn't. Undoubtedly, he is buried somewhere out there in the snow. We'll find him after the first thaw. It's a bit brutally honest, isn't it? Everyone now in the world thinks he's dead. They won't be looking for him now. No. Oh no, it looks a like someone's... crowbar. Yeah. It's a good observation. He never crawled out of that car by himself. You see the dents on the door there. Someone pulled him out. Yes, yeah, Sheriff. You got the I hope idea. This sheriff, I hope the Sheriff gets him. This guy's smart. I would not have thought of this. I thought it was going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Seeing if it tastes of anything. Yeah, he's trying to guess what it is. But it should sound No, I think rapper. he's keeping it to poison her, mate. Yeah, yeah. I hope you like it. It looks wonderful. So do you. Oh... She looks like a haunted ghost. I think this is going to be where she sees that penguin because it's in shot, look. Oh, yeah. Or he sees it. Let's do this right. Do you have any candles? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I think so. I'll go look. The poison. Oh, God, she's going to... No. I just picked things up over the years. That's not going to kill her. That will just make her pass out. Right. Oh, absolutely. I don't know, you can overdose, can't you? If you take too much paracetamol. To Misery and to Annie Wilkes, who brought her back to life. Oh, Paul, I get goosebumps every time I think about it. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Here, let me pour another one. He's, that was his last, the last pills as well, wasn't it? Well, there's more in the cupboard, but... Yeah, the ones he had. Can we pretend this never happened? He's g absolutely gutted. It was just one chance. How long is he there for? Chapter 12. He's going to finish it, and then she's going to be like, Another! Another <laughs> misery book. This is positively the best misery you've ever written. This is like... This is like modern franchise fandom, isn't it? Mm. Like, people don't like Star Wars Episode Eight, so, so they so they kidnap Ryan Johnson and force him to re <laughs> write rewrite A New Hope again for the fifth time, or, or kidnap George Lucas to force him to write the sequel trilogy. Yeah, how he would have, even though they hate the prequels. Yeah. When you first came here, I only loved the writer part of Paul Sheldon. Now I know I love the rest of him too. Oh. Um. The fuck? I have this gun. Yeah, you do. Using it on what? Please say yourself. I put bullets in it. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't catch a break, man. I really yeah. hope he escapes this. Oh, there you go. There you go. Would you go for that one? 
Do you go for the biggest one or the, the smallest? Yeah, but it's the more, also the most noticeable one. To be yeah, missing. I would go for the smallest one. Still can do damage. Mm. Just go... And you can hide it. Hide it. Imagine that. You think everybody on the outside thinks you're dead, like... Memory <laughs> lane. That's horrible. <laughs> She's she's one of these nurses that like yeah kills. Kids. Why would you put that in a scrapbook? She's got a pig, Tom. Infant death return to hospital. Do you know what pigs nurses? do? Right. They eat dead bodies yeah, and, uh... to the point there's no trace behind bars. She was arrested. How? Why is she, what is she doing here? She must have uh, served a sentence and got, served a sentence and gone somewhere else. Hmm. I'd be at the point now where my only choice is I'd, I'm going to have to slash her throat when she's standing yeah. with me. Yeah. Just kill her. Make sure she doesn't have a gun in her hand though. If he killed her, would he get sentenced to? Would he get sentenced? Would he go to prison? No, he wouldn't. He'd get oh, it. is that wise to put the knife there? I'd still keep no. it on me. I keep it on me. Because he's very, very famous and also he's been like kidnapped and held hostage. And he can prove it. There'd be so much evidence. What evidence? Like the messed up splints on his legs. Yeah, that, like that, the that book would prove that, that he was forced to write. Yeah, but that would prove that she was nursing him. The crowbar on the car. Saving him. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! That's horrific. That's horrifying. My little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. I don't, Do I don't south. know what you're talking about. Ceramic penguin. Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> oh, God. The operation was called hobbling. Oh, no. I've heard about this. It's an ankle thing. Oh. Dude. Dude. Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. Hey, please! Ah! Oh, you saw it! Almost done. I can't remember seeing it. God, I love you. Why does she have to do both? Could she just do the one? I don't think he's getting out of this, man. I don't. I cannot see how, unless that sheriff somehow miraculously, yeah. miraculously the checks. The sheriff is his only hope. Every time that fella writes a new book, she has me set aside the first copy. Has she been uh, buying anything on? He's on the. He's on the. He's on. On the trail now. List you call paper on. Newspaper? No. Typing kind. Well, that kind. Nothing odd about that. Just <laughs> done something. A lot of things. He knows now. He's got it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's all I need. Got the case, but he's gonna do like every detective does and go there by himself. You're gonna laugh at what I'm about to say, but go ahead. I don't care. When I was praying, God told me to get ready. Get ready for what? To be His replacement. He gave so much pleasure to so many people. There's a short excuse for the typewriting. Yes. Already, she's yeah, she surely knew. She's, it's all premeditated shit. Sure. Well, I always say if you can't enjoy your own company, you're not fit company for anyone else. Well, you've got a point there. <laughs> <laughs> she so lingered. Like that. That. Oh. oh. <laughs> so odd. <laughs> Just her like smiling at the very last moment. Yell! Yes. Come on. Here! I'm down here! Down here! No, where is she? She's going to get the syringe. Mr. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Flat out murdered his ass. I put two bullets in my gun. One for you and one for me. Oh my god. No. Now don't be afraid. Fuck. I love you. Not now. No. What? It's almost finished. By dawn. <laughs> so he's got to write a, finish a book, but also somehow kill her and escape. <laughs> Shit. Shove some blue in life. I'll mean, be your ass. <laughs> What's he going to do with it? Set fire to the house. I'll get you something to eat. Okay. Let me just climb the stairs with my broken ankles over the dead body of the sheriff into my wheelchair into the room of death. So question is, what's he going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuff the paper in the light. Because she know. holds all the cards right now. He can't even walk. Could, His ankles are could, broken. It could burn the book in front of her as revenge for her. But, yeah. Uh, make her go but crazy. Then, but then she'd just shoot him in the face. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right here. <gasps> Paul, you can't! <sighs> Why not? I learn it from you. Oh my God, he didn't even... He was playing it this whole time, lifting the, yeah, the thing up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The gun. Ah. Oh. There were two bullets. There's that more in there. Strangler. Oh my god, the blood. You want it? You want it? Eat it! 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 Eat it
And I don't know whether she won an Oscar for this performance. No, I think it was for that that other one I told you about, that Dolores Clare. Oh, really? Uh, let's have a quick look what she won her Oscar for. Uh, Kathy Bates' Oscar. She was in Titanic, wasn't she? Was she? Yeah. Ah, she won Best Actress for Misery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought, yeah wow, I so. There you go, then. I mean, we said that that performance was standout, Masterclass. But it was like... It was almost like multiple, multiple characters. Well, she definitely had some sort of like schizophrenia or bipolar, you know, syndrome. She was an insane woman and she just played mm. it so well because because the, the, the tension from the film came from her performance and not knowing when she would flip. There was such unexpected kind of character moments, weren't they? Yeah. Where you almost feel like he's winning her over, but then he says that puts the slightest little foot out of line. Yeah. And I love how, you know, there are things that you're not just worried about what's happening. You're worried about what's to come as well, like yeah. with the pills and with the penguin that's turned around. Yeah. And it almost gives like a a four dimen- four a four fourth dimension to the narrative and plot because you're not just thinking about what's going on you're thinking about everything else things have been laid and breadcrumbs have been laid throughout the throughout the film that and sometimes you do forget Mm. that they have been laid but they come back um in in full circle and and what i you're right there there is a tension throughout the movie but there is a moment in the movie where i feel like the film tries to lead the audience to feel a little bit of a relief or hope and it's when he grabs that knife Mm. And when he's in bed and he's Practicing and he's it. waiting for it, yeah. that is the moment that he has the upper hand. But and the, that night, and instantly, it, yeah, and that is the moment where the audience feels yeah. like he has the upper hand. He's waiting. She's by the door, but she chooses not to come in. Yeah. And then he goes to bed. He says, "See you in the morning." And then in the middle of the night, there she yeah. is. Yeah. Like, and that's when the the movie comes back again, that's full force, it, tension. Like no, she isn't. She's got is, the upper hand. It is a horror. She reminds me of like. Yeah. One of these characters, like um, Jason Voorhees or <laughs> Michael Myers, yeah. in a way, because she's just like non-stop, yeah. unstoppable. And there is a moment of levity as well in the the couple, the old couple, and that build. Even though there's only got a few small scenes, that also builds anticipation because you know they're almost near closing, and closing in. in, and you know that that. I wonder what it would, the movie would have felt like without those scenes. Matt, one thing I was going to say is that the uh, the direction. Uh, I think I think he's a great director. Yeah, one hundred percent. His pa- his pacing. Yeah. In his movies, is so. Uh, I want to say transparent, but it's so it's so. Um, it goes unnoticed the pacing, yeah. which is a good thing, a really good thing. Um, like you said, you didn't feel it like it went past like that. Yeah, the I just um, wish he's done more films, but. But I thought some of the camera work was great, like especially in the chase scenes when he was, when she was, you knew she was going to come back at any moment, yeah. and and that, uh, like the power dynamic was so clearly kind of demonstrated through the camera work with a him on the bed looking down on it, yeah, and her like constant up. angles with the the lighting on her face, the shadows in the night when you see her, and yeah. the music was great as well. That was a big key point yeah. of tension, I think. Yeah. Um, but what I, I what I thought was uh, really good, and and just to uh, build upon your point uh, about the the sheriff and that couple, it, w- without that, would it have felt um, a bit too morbid? I I do think so. I do I do think so. I think it that that dyna- dynamic gives us a break from the intensity. Um, but it also, but he's also brutally murdered with a shotgun. Yeah, yeah murdered him again. Which so. is which is and it. I guess it gives you that a little bit of emotional I release. I think there needed to be a real show of the danger that she could inflict upon the character for and the end to have that payoff yeah, that it needed. Yeah, 100%. Um, but I loved it, man. I really thought it was great. Yeah, what would you rate it out of 10? Man, this is a solid film. A really solid film. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it quite a high score. Mm. An 8 point. Six. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I was gonna uh, give it an eight point seven. Ah yeah. good. That's what I, I I was thinking. Because it was so consistently good, mm. the pacing didn't let me my my attention drift. Mm. 
Um, it was so intense, horrifying. I don't think we really Funny spoke at about at times, charming at times. Yeah, we didn't really speak about James Khan as well, but he was such a believable character of this guy that had just been dropped into this. He was just a, such, such a generic and old, like like yeah. uh, average With expressions man. and of the horror on his face. Yeah, you could almost. But I think his. I, I re- really think he. He's great. It's a great character. For the audience, yeah, to lead the audience because you kind of don't know anything about where he is, or so yeah. you're learning alongside him, but also you can try, you try and envision yourself in that situation. You didn't want well. him to input too much. Mm. You wanted, you wanted his character to sit there mm. along with the audience so that they could really uh, be in the situation with him. Yeah, um, but I do think his performance was outshined by um, Kathy Vicks. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. but but and that that would be the only negative for me. Maybe but he sh- he could have had some kind of monologue before he burnt the papers a little bit more, something with a bit more bite to yeah and emotion. And I that. don't know whether there should have been a scene with the sheriff's wife finding out that he he died, because you got to know those characters slightly. Yeah, but what I would think... she have done that would advance the plot? Just be like, oh Harold. Yeah, and I guess they they, they might have. They might have filmed that, and there might have been a bit in the book that yeah. um, elaborated on that. But I don't think you needed to see him no. rescued, though, or how he got out, or, or anything. Like I think that. the relief would have been nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that. And crawling through the snow and seeing yeah, some, maybe. police cars, you know, sirens, and but that's the only negative I can think of. Mm. Yeah, it's a solid film. And if you're new to our channel, that's a great rating for the films because we yeah. normally rate everything one, two out of ten. But, um, <laughs> no. It's very rare when we give nines and tens out of ten. So, um, But thank you for watching. If you want to watch the full length reaction along with us, check out our Patreon page down mm. in the description and, below. And drop a subscribe to stay tuned to our other Patreon voted reactions that are coming out soon. Yes. Currently, we've got up our new Patreon poll um, with a load of new movies. If once this is out, it'll be another week or so before the next Patreon poll is out. So um, if you want to be involved in that, our lowest tier on our Patreon page uh, enables you to vote and suggest what movies what we watch next. So go check that out. But without further ado, we'll see you in the next, next video. Time. Cheers.